Suzuki Stars, welcome back to my house. Let's start by singing together. Sing with me. our hands now. Clap your hands all together. Clap your hands all together. Clap your hands all together. Won't you be my darling? Let's get up and stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. friend again. Yes, Largo. Let's sing Largo. Largo is so slow. I hope I don't fall asleep. All right, can you find a very slow, steady beat somewhere on your body? Let's sing Largo all together. Let's sing Largo all wake up a little bit. Did you know that if we sing just a little bit faster, that has a different fancy name that we're going to learn today? Adagio. Adagio is still slow, but it's kind of like the snail is getting a little energy. Starting to wake up. Let's sing Adagio all together. Let's sing Adagio all together. Let's sing Adagio Together, won't you be my darling? Now, we're going to learn another fancy word called allegro. Allegro is kind of a walking tempo. So maybe we can even get up and walk together and we'll sing allegro. Let's sing allegro all together. Let's sing allegro all together. Let's sing allegro all together. Now, let's finish with presto. Let's sing presto all together. Let's sing presto all together. Let's sing presto all together. Won't you be my darling? Here is my picture for bumpy. Bumpy things. What are some things in your house that's bumpy? I usually like to think of something that I have in my kitchen that I eat that's bumpy. It goes crunch, crunch, crunch. I love salt and vinegar potato chips, and I think they are very, very bumpy and crunchy when I eat them. Staccato. Staccato. I'd like us to go around your house and find different places to make a st. Kato sound. In fact, I'm going to show you my piano right here, and I'm going to make it on my uh, on the board right here. Staccato. I'm going to make another staccato sound on the back of my ukulele. Staccato. And with our own bodies, clapping is very bumpy. Staccato. Now, this picture is not so bumpy. 
It's smooth like a rainbow. In fact, can you pretend that you've got a magic paintbrush? Let's dip it in our paint and let's paint a rainbow back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It feels very smooth. Something that we can find in our refrigerator that's smooth. I'm thinking of yogurt. We eat a lot of yogurt around here. Um, I like something in my freezer that's smooth. Ice cream. Mm -hmm. And something that we can do with our hands that is smooth is rubbing. Let's combine staccato and legato by combining our clapping hands with our rubbing hands with this song. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Now we're gonna get smooth. La, 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 La 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 la. Let's find another staccato way. How about, let's see, can we tap, tap, tap our nose? Here we go. Tap, tap, tap your nose, tap your nose together. Tap, tap, tap your nose, tap your nose together. Now rub them together, your hands together. La 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 la. Do some legato spinning. La 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 which word do you think goes with the staccato part of allegro? Popcorn. And what do you think might go with the legato part you're gonna hear in allegro? Melted butter. Here it goes. <laughs> sticks for our next activity. So if you need to pause the video, go ahead and find two rhythm sticks that we're going to use for popcorn. popcorn kernel at the end. Let's sing it one more time all together and I'm going to get back out my ukulele. Let's start with staccato. You can almost see the little kernels popping in the oil with this picture.
at the, the next video I send uh, that will have the violin demonstration that will also feature the song Popcorn Popcorn, also called Allegro by Shinichi Suzuki. And have your rhythm sticks ready so you can join me when you watch that. I wanted to review our rhythm. We can call this one of two names. I'm going to play it with my rhythm sticks and see if you can figure it out when you hear it. Ready? Listen. Ready? Listen. Pepperoni pizza. Ready? Go! Pepperoni pizza. Or maybe you like to call this rhythm chugga chugga choo choo. Let's do it saying chugga chugga choo choo. Ready? Go! Chaga, chaga, choo, choo. Ready? Go. Chaga, chaga, choo, choo. Well, whatever you would like to call it, I'd like you to, to clap along with me, tap along with me, uh, walk and keep a steady beat with me, however you'd like to, but I'm going to play chaga, chaga, choo, choo, or pepperoni pizza on my piano right here. Pepperoni pizza, ready, go. it's time to say goodbye. When you listen to and watch the video for the violin demonstration, I'd like you to listen for a couple of things. For example, I'd like you to find out how many strings a violin has. And secondly, if the violin has a high voice or a low voice. I also invite you to start making your own rhythm cards at home. Today, we looked and reviewed at Chugga chugga choo choo. So go ahead and make yours at home. Let's wave goodbye, everybody. 